A haunting screeching sound recorded in the depths of the Pacific Ocean, a new deep sea species discovered, and just what are supergiant amphipods? These are amazing discoveries found in the Mariana Trench. Back in 2014, scientists recording sounds deep in the Mariana Trench picked up something that left them feeling pretty uneasy. It was a bizarre noise, about three seconds long, starting with a deep moaning and then shifting into a high pitched metallic screech. Take a listen. Pretty strange. And the researchers thought so too. They had no idea what they were listening to. Clearly, it wasn't just some background ocean noise. It had a pattern, which meant something was making it on purpose. But what? Well, when a clip of the sound hit the internet, people started talking about alien signals, giant deep sea cryptids, and conspiracies like top secret underwater military technology. And for a while, nobody had a clue. But after studying the sounds for years, researchers actually figured it out. Turns out it was a type of mink whale call, something scientists now call the Western Pacific bio twang. According to marine acoustics expert Sharon Newkirk, the low frequency moaning part is typical of baleen whales, and it's that kind of twangy sound that makes it really unique. Basically, these whales have their own weird way of talking that nobody had ever heard before. But this call is unlike anything else from known whale species. They still don't fully understand why these whales make this sound or what they're saying to each other. And since it was picked up at some of the deepest points in the ocean, who knows what else is lurking down there, making noises we haven't discovered yet. The Mariana Trench is like an alien world right here on Earth, and every time scientists go down there, they find something new. On one recent expedition, researchers discovered over a hundred new species. In one expedition, they found that many creatures nobody had ever documented before, just casually hanging out in the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean. Some of the new species included strange deep sea corals, massive glass sponges that look like eerie underwater sculptures, and a bunch of strange crustaceans. One especially weird find was called a squat lobster, a weird little thing with spindly legs spiky shells, and big buggy eyes. Aaron Easton, one of the lead scientists on the expedition, said, These findings just blew us away. It was almost baffling to discover so many new creatures. In some areas, we were finding species we'd never encountered before every few meters." End quote. And that's pretty wild, that almost every time we explore the deep, deep ocean, we realize just how little we actually know about it. Some of these creatures have been down there for millions of years, completely unknown to us. And it makes you wonder, if we're still finding new species now, how many more are still out there? Maybe there's even something really big that hasn't been discovered yet. All right, so microbes don't sound as exciting as giant sea monsters, but hear me out. What scientists have found at the bottom of the Mariana Trench might be proof that life can survive in places we never thought possible. Deep down in the trench, a place with no light, insane pressure, and barely any food, researchers discovered entire communities of bacteria and microbes. And not only are these things surviving, they're consuming stuff researchers just didn't think they would be. More on that in a sec, though. These tiny organisms mainly eat organic material that drifts down from the upper ocean, and in doing so, they play a huge part in the ecosystem. That's pretty well known, but what's really crazy is that some of these microbes have developed ways to break down chemicals that are usually toxic to life. They've actually found bacteria down there that can digest oil and plastic, meaning that nature might already have a built-in way to clean up pollution, which is crazy. Some some researchers also think studying these microbes could give us clues about how life started on Earth and maybe even how it could exist on other planets. Because if something can survive in the extreme hellscape of the Mariana Trench, then who's to say that life couldn't exist in the oceans of Europa or on some distant exoplanet? Most of the time, deep sea creatures are pretty tiny. The extreme pressure and the lack of food just means there's not much room for anything especially big to grow, but that's what makes the discovery of supergiant amphipods so weird. Amphipods are these shrimp-like scavengers that live at the bottom of the ocean, usually no bigger than your fingernail. But in the Mariana Trench, scientists found giant versions of these things, nearly a foot long. That's 10 times bigger than a normal amphipod. So imagine a shrimp the size of a small cat. Weird. Researchers first spotted these monsters back in 2012. 
And they sent a trap down to the trench and pulled one up, and they were pretty surprised. Again, you go down that deep, it's more rare to find animals that grow that big. Yet, there they were. Scientists still aren't entirely sure why they get so massive, but one theory is deep sea gigantism. A phenomenon where certain animals actually grow much larger in deep, cold environments. Whatever the reason though, these things are proof that the deep ocean is still full of surprises, and some of them might be a lot bigger than we expect. You'd think that the deepest part of the ocean, somewhere barely explored by humans, would be untouched by pollution, right? Well, no. Turns out, we've managed to trash even the Mariana Trench. When explorers sent submersibles down to Challenger Deep, the very bottom of the trench, they found plastic waste. One of the first things seen in the footage, a freaking plastic bag, just drifting 36,000 feet below the surface. Scientists have also found candy wrappers, aluminum cans, an old beer bottle. I mean, it's not necessarily surprising, but just let that sink in. We've dumped so much garbage and crap into the ocean that even in the deepest, most isolated place on Earth, it's still not safe from it. It's not just an eyesore either. Scientists have found microplastics deep inside sea creatures, meaning this pollution is making its way into the food chain. And since plastic doesn't break down naturally, it's likely that every new expedition will find more and more of it piling up. If anything, this is just a reminder that no matter how far away or untouched a place seems, human impact is everywhere. We just gotta grow more of those plastic-eating microbes. Down in the Mariana Trench, there's something lurking that isn't a fish, isn't a squid, and honestly, doesn't even look like it should be alive. It's called a xenophyophore, which is basically a massive deep-sea amoeba. Scientists describe them as giant, single-celled organisms that can grow up to four inches across. Think about that for a second. One cell the size of your palm. They absorb and trap particles in their environment, forming an outer shell made of whatever junk is floating around. Lead, uranium, mercury. If it's toxic, there's a good chance these things are covered in it. Scientists think their ability to thrive in extreme environments makes them important players in deep sea ecosystems, but they're also basically living biohazards. One study from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography found they're, quote, highly resistant to heavy metal contamination, but they may also help indicate pollution levels in deep sea trenches, which is kind of cool. Here's another crazy thing though. Xenophyophores are capable of regenerating even if you cut them apart. They can pull themselves back together, kind of like a deep sea version of the thing. Back in 2017, Australian researchers were dragging a net through the deep waters near the Mariana Trench when they pulled up something that just looked wrong. It had no eyes, no visible mouth, just a smooth, pale body with a weird, wrinkled texture. At first, scientists weren't even sure what they were looking at, but after some examination, they realized it was a species of cusk eel, one that hadn't been seen in over a century. The official name is Typhlonus nasus, aka the faceless cusk. Now, is it actually faceless? Well, yes and no. It has a mouth, it just isn't where you'd expect. Instead of being on where its face should be, it's found on the underside of its body. It doesn't have eyes, though. Since it lives at depths of over 13,000 feet, where it's pitch black 24-7, eyesight is pretty much useless. Instead, the faceless cusk eel uses vibrations and chemical signals to detect its prey. Dr. Tim O'Hara, who is leading the expedition that rediscovered the eel described it as, quote, probably the strangest deep sea fish we've collected. And considering they also pulled up spiky sea cucumbers and bizarre carnivorous sponges on that same trip, that's really saying something. Nuclear explosives tests from the 50s and 60s didn't just leave their mark on the land and the atmosphere, they also made it all the way down to the deepest parts of the ocean. Researchers analyzing deep sea crustaceans found something very alarming. High levels of carbon-14, a radioactive isotope released by nuclear explosions. Some of these creatures live more than 35,000 feet below the surface, in a place humans have never directly impacted. Dr. Ning Wang, who led a study on this explained the bomb carbon has reached the deepest oceanic ecosystems, indicating the strong influence of humanity 
on Earth, end quote. In other words, the effects of nuclear weapons have literally seeped into parts of the planet we thought were untouched. What's even stranger is how fast it happened. The radioactive carbon showed up in deep sea trenches just a few decades after the tests, meaning there's some kind of rapid biological conveyor belt moving surface contaminants straight to the ocean floor, which is then seeping into the food chain. Tiny creatures at the bottom of the trench are absorbing bomb carbon and bigger animals are eating them. In 2021, researchers exploring the depths of the Mariana Trench were scanning the ocean floor when they saw something that made them jump. It wasn't a fish, it wasn't a shark, it was just a tentacle, a very long tentacle stretching out of the darkness. There was no visible body attached to it, just a single ghostly limb. Deep sea biologist Dr. Alan Jameson, who reviewed the footage, admitted that nobody really knows what it belonged to. Best guess, it could be an unknown species of big fin squid, which have massive spindly arms that can stretch over 20 feet long. These squids are so rare that fewer than 20 sightings have ever been recorded, and even those were blurry, distant shots. But there's no definitive proof that this is what it was, which means, as of right now, there may be something massive in the Mariana Trench that we haven't identified yet. In 2020, marine biologists identified a new species of amphipod living in one of the deepest parts of the ocean, the Mariana Trench. They named it Urethensis plasticus, and that's because when scientists analyzed its body, they found plastic inside it. Specifically, they discovered a common material used in plastic bottles and food packaging. So even in the most remote and extreme environment on Earth, plastic pollution has again made its way into the food chain. The discovery was made by researchers from Newcastle University who were studying deep sea amphipods, tiny shrimp-like creatures that scavenge for food on the ocean floor. With all that said, I've been your host James and I will catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video.